Welcome. In this video, we will guide you through the basic disassembly, replacement of single seals, and reassembly of a Viking pump vertically ported Sterilobe series for biopharmaceutical processes. Before you begin, please consult the appropriate technical service manual for safety information. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. To begin, loosen and remove the pump covered dome nuts. Remove the front cover. Ears or cutouts located on the cover can aid in removal. Remove and discard the pump cover o-ring. Next, to prevent the rotors from turning, insert the rotor locking tool provided with the pump or a dowel made of plastic or other non-metallic material between the pump body and rotor. Using the provided cross socket and a ratchet, loosen and remove the rotor retainers. Remove and discard the retainer o-rings. Remove the rotors from each shaft. Note the position of each rotor as they will need to be returned to the same position when reassembled. Next, remove the rotary seal face from each rotor. To do this, place the rotor face down on a piece of cloth or other non-marring work surface. Insert the provided seal face removal tool. Place it on the rubber cup around the seal face and press down on the tool. As the tool is forced downward, the rubber cup will force the seal face up and out of the bore. Remove the stationary seal assemblies from the rotor case by inserting the provided seal removal tool through the guard and pushing on the back of the seal to push each out of the rotor case bore. Remove and discard the seal housing o-ring and wave spring. Install new rotary seal faces and cups. To do this, place the rotors face down on a clean, non-marring work surface. Inspect the bore to make sure that it is clean and free from debris or damage. Line up the cutouts in the rubber cup and seal face. Lubricate the cup and press the seal face and cup into the rotor until it is fully seated. Make sure the face is level and parallel with the back of the rotor. Install new stationary seal assemblies. Start by inspecting the rotor case bore to make sure it is clean and free from debris and damage. Lubricate and install the seal face o-rings. Lubricate and install the seal housing o-rings. Install the wave springs. Slide the seal housings into each bore, making sure that the cutout recesses line up with the seal washers in the bore. Note that there is one offset seal washer to ensure proper orientation. To identify the offset cutout, lay the seal holder face down. For this holder, it is located here. When inserting the seal housing, orient the pins horizontally in the same direction as the shafts, with the offset cutout toward the middle of the rotor case. In the case of a horizontally ported pump, the pins will be aligned vertically with the shafts. Press in and adjust as necessary until the seal housing is flat at the bottom of the bore and fully engaged with the seal washers. Press each static seal face into the seal housing, making sure to align the slots in the seal face with the anti-rotation pins in the seal housing. Next, reinstall the rotors, making sure each rotor is returned to its original shaft. Note that each rotor has a wide tooth that will fit into the missing spline area on each shaft.
lubricate and install new rotor retainer O-rings. Install the rotor retainers on each shaft and tighten them by hand. Insert the rotor locking tool or other non-metallic dowel to prevent the rotors from turning. Using the cross socket, torque each rotor retainer to the appropriate setting as listed in the technical service manual. Check clearances using feeler gauges and a depth micrometer. Adjust shims as needed and per the recommendations in the service manual. Once correct clearances have been confirmed, lubricate and install the front cover O-ring. Reinstall the front cover and dome nuts. Torque the dome nuts to the appropriate setting as listed in the service manual. For pump lubrication, Viking Pump Stair Lobe Series pumps are supplied from the factory already filled with lubricants. Please refer to the technical service manual for proper lubrication and greasing procedures. Your Viking Pump vertically ported Stair Lobe Series pump is now ready to be put back into service. For more information, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.